In this class we are going to discuss a gate problem related to K map. We can solve this same expression by using Boolean algebraic equations, but by using K map we can get answer in a single step. That is why I am going to use K map here. See the problem here this is given in gate 2007. So, this may be a model of uh, gate. So, here in the sum of products function SOP function. So, f of x comma y comma z that is equal to summation of 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 these are min terms. So, here the prime implicants are. So, I already told you when I discussed the k map. So, the prime implicants are nothing but groupings. So, now we will see how many variable k map we need to consider here and how we need to group for prime implicants. So, let us see here. So, uh, now you need to observe this uh, min terms. So, they given 2, 3, 4, 5. The maximum value of min term here is 5. That means, it may be not less than, it may be not uh, less than uh, some, uh, it may be not greater than 7. Why? Because for example, if you are having two variables, you may have two square min terms or two square max terms. So, now you are in SOP means two square min terms means four min terms, but four min terms means only 0 to 3, but here you are having 4, 5. Definitely you need to consider three variables. For the three variables, the number of min terms is 2 cube, 2 cube means so, 8, 8 number of min terms means that min term values is from 0 to 7. So, that is why I am considering 3 variable k map now. So, that 3 variables you need to map with options. Here they given in x, y, z. So, definitely you need to consider that 3 variables as x, y, z. So, now see here. I am considering 3 variable k map here. So, I am just considering 3 variable k map. So, this is a 3 variable k map. So, which shows like a rectangle. So, definitely contains 8 cells here. So, now here is a separation and here I am taking x and y z I am considering here. So, now for example, your uh, values is like this, your values is like this, then you can consider like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Like that for x you are having 0 and 1. What are the min terms given here? So, 2 is a min term, 2 in 3 variables. How you can write 2 in 3 variables? So, like 0, 1, 0. This is 2 in 3 variables. In the similar way, 3 is 0, 1, 1. So, similar way, 4 is 1, double 0. This is 4 and 5, this is 1, 0, 1. So, these are the min terms written in 3 variable binary code, 3 bit binary code. So, now I am writing here. So, I am just mapping this 3 variables with x, y, z, 3 bits with x, y, z. See 2 here to represent 2, x must be 0 and y, z must be 1, 0. So, see that combination x is 0 here and y, z is 1, 0 means this cell 0 and 1, 0. So, this cell will come. I am placing 1 here as this is sum of products function. So, now to map 3, x is 0, y, z is 1, 1 here. So, x is 0, y, z is 1, 1 means here you will get y, z is 1, 1 here and x is 0 here. This cell will come. So, in the same way to map 4, x is 1 and y, z is 0, 0. So, here x is 1, y, z is 0, 0 means here you are having that one. And for 5, x is 1 and y z is 0 1. So, here y z is 0 1, x is 1 means this cell. After placing ones in the cells, you need to group that ones. So, as I already told you that 
maximum grouping is required you need to search for octet octet is possible with this number of ones no quarter is possible no if these ones are here then quarter is possible but like this means quarter is not possible so now so finally two doubles are possible two separate doubles are possible we can group like this these four ones has two double groupings so here the value of this grouping is this grouping this is the prime implicant each grouping in a k map is called as prime implicant so now this grouping this side is going to cover single cell so that single cell is x bar 0 is there so that's why 0 is representing x means x bar top side it is covering two cells when you are having combination of cells you need to compare that uh, combination and you need to select the common one so here the common one is 1 so here in this one so this one represents y and here x bar y we will take so this side x into top side y so next prime implicant is this side this is covering single cell that single cell value is x here and you just see top side when you saw top side here you are having 0 as combination in the two cells the 0 representing y so that means 0 representing y means y bar so x y bar is this prime implicant value uh, definitely uh, no need to decode uh, when you are having this question in gate means you are going to reduce your time no need to decode here so you are just having two prime implicants two prime implicants means this option so see the remaining options having more than two prime implicants here you are having three prime implicants and here you are having 3 and 4 prime implicants by uh, by observing grouping itself we can select the option a as right option so in this way by using k map we can get the answer easily so for example if you want to solve same expression by using any boolean expression means again you need to convert into uh, sop s sop and then you need to reduce the expression by using boolean loss but by using kmap in a single step just by decoding of that min terms you got the answer you got the number of prime implicants